Hi everybody, um, on a bit of a roll with my mini canvases, um, just completed another one, really really love this one, um, I wanted to sort of like not do one that, like my last one was really grungy um, and everything and I just, I kind of wanted this one to be very shabby chic and plus I, I, I needed a reason to use my lost and found blush collection by my mind's eye which is absolutely gorgeous and I really really wanted to use the bird cage and fussy cut it out and use it but I also loved the pattern on the background as well I loved that teal green um, and the mint green I just thought it was really lovely together so I used um, that and what I did was I cut out sections of the paper and there's a bit here there's a bit in the top hand corner and it goes over the edge but I really really wanted to keep that so I kind of um, kept rubbing over it because I wanted to show it then I did some texturing with um, there's some texture in there, I don't know if you can see that, and there's also some down here as well, which turned out really lovely. Um, what I did is I went into my Poundland and I found some gutter guard mesh, which is five meters of it, and it is literally it's you can see that it's it's and there's there's tons of it there, so um, I brought some of that and I used it with my texture um, modeling paste and um, really loved the effect it gave to be honest. I didn't want a lot of effect um, because obviously I knew a lot of it was going to be covered up. And then I got my white crepe paper and just went over because I, I didn't want the design paper to be so harsh on the edges so I put some crepe paper around um, just around here and um, there's some more down here there's some more in the corner and I do love the the effect that it gives when you spray it with your brown um, your brown micro spray, micro, micro sprays and your glimmer mist and that um, it gives it sort of like a really nice grainy effect so I was really pleased with that um, then I literally I went spray 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 um, I used my trusty um, cork and latte and kept rubbing over because like I said I really wanted to keep some of the design paper as well um, so then I started building it I did a couple of stamping with a butterfly stamp I had, I don't know where it's from. Um, I used one of my metal corners but I didn't want it to be metal so I kind of went over it with gesso and then my, my antique linen um, acrylic paint as well on, on places. Then I sort of rubbed and buffed the corners with the tea dye distress stain, um, distress ink um, and really really love how that turned out. It made it look really old and shabby chic. Um, then I went over everything with the, um, I think it's Iridescent Gold Glimmer Mist, which is I'm nearly out of and need some more, because it just lives, I mean, I don't know if you can, I'll try and focus in, if you can see, I hope you can see the gold, the gold glimmer on that. So then I fussy coated out the, um, the bird cage and um, Mod Podge that on. Um, then I used one of my um, bracelet pieces that I showed you the other day that I got from Primark. Um, took the diamond out of the middle. Then I cut out one a sentiment that I had, create it, went over it with glossy accents, rubbed over it with gesso, and I just love the way you know love create it. Um, this alphabet chipboard is by Basic Grey undressed chipboard and it's um it's the collection called sweets <clears throat> i wanted to match it to the the coordinate it with the paper but um i used the evergreen distress ink by tim holtz um one of the limited edition ones i think it's one of the christmas ones and it was really bright so i kind of toned it down and really wanted um a whitewash effect with the gesso and i think i turned out really lovely and so i glossy accented that on as well then I started building my flowers and um, these are the blooms that I got from um, their wild orchid crafts and they're the 100 foundation blooms 1.5 inches that's the number they're absolutely gorgeous the, the dimension on these little flowers is amazing and as you can see from my canvas they keep even though they've been sprayed they keep their dimension it's they're absolutely stunning so I 
sprayed them with the Latte Glimmer Mist, um, just sort of like rubbed the edges with gesso, put one of my little I Am Roses in the middle. This is an I Am Rose rose as well. These um, is a little clay embellishment. There's one, a little rose back here as well. Um, I made, I think I, I do have a video on them. I brought some, I made some moulds out of some of the um, cameos and stuff that I had and some, some sort of like earrings and stuff and that was a necklace piece here's another another cameo um, some buttons and some roses and um, just sort of like um, had a whole day with air drying clay and just made tons and tons of like lovely little embellishments or shabby sheet colours that I painted over with pearlescent paint um, so I used one of those um, in that corner filled in the gaps with tiny little roses that I got out of my stash um, these are little metal charms that I brought off of eBay um, absolutely stunning little leaf charms and um, was really pleased with them and I think I got uh, I think it was 25 or 50 I can't remember but they weren't I think they were a, a pound something they weren't expensive at all and they're they're just they're absolutely perfect for just Sort of like adding another texture to it and all I did was I went over it with um, my evergreen paint not evergreen paint um, I can't find it in a minute oh my conservatory is leaking because it's raining excuse me everybody so I'm trying to be quick um, it was a green Christmas green acrylic paint here it is thicket that's what it's called the folk art thicket and I added some of my parchment um, it's like a cream acrylic crate paint um hobby craft paint as well and I did it to that and it made an absolutely gorgeous green which matched the flowers perfectly if you can see that and then I just kind of rubbed and buffed it with a bit of gesso um made a stick pin to coordinate with it stuck that in um this is just like a little button I've got a massive massive tub of um gold buttons with all centres in, all different kinds of ones, all different shapes and these look absolutely brilliant when you sort of like, you can really shabby sheet these up with a bit of gesso and then um, dry it, go over it with a bit of acrylic paint I mean there's absolutely tons in there so I love my little my little button bucket um, this, yeah, so I just literally went over it with gesso um, and then went over it again with some of the parchment acrylic paint and then I really wanted to incorporate this little charm so um, I shabby chiced it up and gessoed it again used the acrylic paint over the top and just literally if you can just see that just tucked it under the button so it just you know looked like it was just sort of like hanging there from the antique flower um, and yeah that's that's sort of like my canvas I'm really really pleased with it. oh I added a little bit of lace here tucked a little bit of lace sort of like ruffled it up and tucked it in the background there um, some pearl string and some little roses just to sort of like take the harshness off I didn't want the birdcage just to be sort of like hanging there um, so yeah this is my canvas my love canvas um, I hope you like it if you've got any questions um, please leave a comment or PM me thanks for watching everybody happy crafting and take care